Alright, hello everyone, my name is Chef, welcome back to the Butcher's Circus, and today this is the actual Butcher Circus, we actually have the darkest background here, so it has been a lot of videos since we've actually had the darkest background, like we've gone through kind of a journey in terms of all the crazy and cursed backgrounds, but we're back to the original, and back to the original we are actually, we're playing with Chef Stress today, so someone requested me to play a video with this team because I haven't played it in, a, in quite a while and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna start off by just transforming the abominations pretty much what you always do and then you just go for a slam, start going for that disruption. After that we can drop the command buffs and then all the characters are gonna have accuracy and they're gonna go absolutely ham on that pack line and the enemy team in general. Of course you also want to de-transform and with the plus accuracy the beast file is very very likely to hit with both these trinkets. So. Things should be looking up for us. Please don't knock me back with point blank shot. That would not be fun. That would really not be fun. I wanna I wanna have my repost, okay? No, they just go vendetta. That's a very weird play, going vendetta on the abomination and not the doggy. If uh, if I do say so myself, but well I I don't mind obviously. I'll just drop a command buff. I have a bit of a weird chef stress today. Instead of running numbing incense on the men at arms and running monkey spawn on the hound master, I'm actually just going full aggression. I'm going attack whistle and eerie eye. Just to see how it works, just have a little bit of a of a faster match, uh, I guess, so we can get more W's in, right? <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully so we can get more W's with this team. So my opponent is taking ages to think as to what they want to do, but uh, this is this is an apprentice opponent, so an apprentice opponent is usually not going to have a good time against this team because it's just going to overwhelm them too much with uh, with aggression between the Hound Seri crits and all the bleeds and all the stress. It is very very difficult to to win against uh, against a team like this if you don't have something all planned. Well, if you have like a very aggressive damage team, you can kind of still get outpaced every now and then. So. I guess what I'm trying to say is this is a pretty good team at pawning noobs, which, you know, isn't really what you should be going for, <laughs> you know, if you want me to be honest, but oh well. I'm just gonna drop the Reign of Sorrows, I'm kind of sad by the absolute lack of crits and lack of bleeds. Oh, I actually bled the men at arms with that, that's unbelievable. Yeah, when you get Attack Whistle, Crimson Hook, you have 145% bleed chance, it's outrageous. I actually go Invigorating Vapors, that really shouldn't matter, I dropped the command buff. You have the accuracy buffs on the chef's dress, so you don't really mind that all too much. So let's just go ahead and uh, drop the beast pile here and keep on gaming. I actually failed both lights, that's sad. Yeah, that's kind of why you want the spike chain, but honestly, I just prefer the net. I feel like getting that disruption and getting that push is much more valuable, especially since I don't go command before the man uh, the abomination action like 99% of the time. So having that extra 6 accuracy there for the slam is very important. Make sure your slam has really good accuracy. They're, they're thinking about, yeah, all, all they can do is point blank shots, so they're just gonna do it. They should have done that first, or did I go first? No, I didn't. Yeah, they should have done that first, but well, mistakes were made, I suppose. I got to, I got my beast pile off, which is exactly what I wanted. I actually miss, <laughs> would you look at that, that's so annoying. Even with the command buff and the attack with, so I have a bit more accuracy than what I would usually have. But I suppose this is very, very low base accuracy, they just have a decent amount of dodge. But we're, we're gonna break through them. They are gonna drop my flash one down to 0 HP here with the, with the blights, but that's actually terrible for them. Because me dropping down to 0 is gonna heal whatever damage I've taken on the other characters, and then I'm just gonna drop an exangulate, and yeah, things aren't looking too good for them. I might even go for a command buff here, just so I can actually hit uh, the other characters a bit more. No, if they click me there, I have to go for it now. I have to go for it now, but I'm probably gonna miss the exangulate if I try going for it. I should have dropped a command buff. They have ramparts, so I have to go for the aggression here. And let's see, what's my hit chance? It's an 85. If I miss it, I'll be very sad, but... Uh, yeah, that's the absolute opposite of a miss. <laughs> that's a crit heal on myself. And you can see, this character is ticking down to zero. This character isn't ticking down to zero, but she'll be soon. And they're all taking very, very significant amounts of stress. So in a matchup where, you know, things are going to be more balanced, this is one hour, this is one hour video, so we're, we're going to be in here for, for quite a while before, we, um, before we're done with it, so we're going to probably see a lot of matchups, but usually what this team wants to do is just get both transformations off with the Abomination. It doesn't really matter if he dies. If you get both transformations off with the stress from the Hound's area and the... Uh, 
and the, the Reign of Stars, you're just gonna absolutely demolish the enemy team, which is obviously quite good. So Bell here is just gonna kinda reduce their damage with the AI, it's very, very good. I'm gonna have to start dropping command buffs again, because these are gonna run out. So that's sad, but, ah well, it's not the end of the world, obviously. I think Yuri Eye is really quite good on this on this spell. I like it. It's gonna give us a little bit of a better match against damage teams. I can just drop Bellas, and uh, they're really gonna get debuffed. There's, uh, they're gonna get kind of demolished by it. So let's do another Hunt area here. Both our front lines are days, and yeah, there we go. Command boss equals crits, and look at that, 30 stress on that hunt area, just brutal. Absolutely brutal. I missed it, man. I've been playing the kind of like the slow and steady stress teams lately. I haven't been playing like full aggression hunt master in so long. It feels amazing. It feels amazing once you actually make it work. I mean, just look at this, they're all dying. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. It's round three. It's round three and they're all bleeding down to zero. They're all gonna go to insane amounts of stress. I'm gonna transform again, probably go like uh, rake or whatever. I actually get a crit on the repulse as well, so you're down to zero. I'm not even at this one myself. Keep in mind that this team does have pretty big weaknesses. Um, biggest one being repulse. If you have to deal with repulse, well, it's gonna be kind of rough. And not only is it kind of rough, it's because you actually don't have any big amounts of heals. Your your only healer is essentially the Flashlight, and he doesn't even have Reclaim. So the Menorum just has to rely on his own tankiness, and the Bellows, and the Bolsters to keep everyone alive. The other two characters can self-heal, and that's that's about it. You don't have like a Crusader to heal, you don't have like a Musketeer to heal. You don't have like an occultist to heal, you don't have an antiquarian to drop reach, and you don't even have reclaim on the flash one because I just I just like Rain of Sorrows, it's so freaking good, you just can't go wrong with it. So I still have two actions in round three and <laughs> they're, they're all freaking dying already. Oh no, I actually missed, that's so unfortunate. No, I, I guess he does have a lot of dodge with that. Well, I probably want to click my abomination here before he dies, and right now, you know what, I don't really care if, he, if he's gone. I'm just gonna do this, I'm gonna go for a rake. I've already applied the horror, so it's quite good, and yeah, that crit helps. That crit does help. This team is just gonna die in like four, four, four or five rounds. Probably gonna be four. I think it's gonna be four. If only I didn't have to drop a command buff, I could drop another bellow. That would be good. That would, that would be good. Here comes the ramparts. The abomination is probably gonna die. You really don't care too much if the abomination dies as long as you get one kill. I mean, as long as you get two transformations off with him. If he dies after that, then, you know, so be it. He's just soaking up damage and that's great. So we're gonna do this. We're actually healing their stress with all the freaking crit repulse that they're getting. <laughs> Look at that, plus 50 accuracy. <laughs> that's a lot of plus accuracy, man. Wait, how many crit repulse did you get? Just one or two? I think it was two. But that, uh, no, it was three actually. It was three because it was plus 50 accuracy and plus four crit, right? So he got three crits on there. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable, sort of. He still has one. <laughs> he still has one of those, my god. Well, right now, Hans Zeri would kind of demolish everything, but to do it, I need to drop a, I need to drop a command buff first, or else I'm gonna miss. It is sad that you need to keep dropping the command buffs instead of just going for Melo. But, uh, you know, it's it's alright. It's it's alright. It's just once every four actions or so, and it's very valuable. Always drop it if you think that your hit chances aren't going to be too good, because missing those Harrys and Brain of Sorrows, it feels terrible. It does feel quite terrible. So yeah, my, my characters aren't really hurting too much just yet, and the Hound's area right now is gonna, it's just going to demolish everything. Yeah, look at that. They're all, they're all just dying. You're, you're pretty much gone, you're gone, you're gone very soon, and uh, this is just gonna be GG. So I'm not gonna skip to the end because it is quite nice seeing the... Um, seeing all the stress and all the bleeds and all the horror kind of just unfold and completely ruin the team. I do I do quite like seeing it. If, if my opponent doesn't surrender, which is what they should do, I do quite still like uh, seeing them all just, uh, just go away. So yeah, that's a lot of crit chance, by the way. 26% crit chance right there. We don't get a crit on it, but this man of should be gone if we apply the bleed. Uh, did we? I'm not sure. I don't think we did. Yeah, so he's gonna stay alive, but he's dead next time he clicks, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> I'm just gonna pass. I probably won't. I'm gonna try using... Um, well, I would try using Redeem there, but I can't anymore. You know what? I'm gonna do the disrespect move. I'm gonna go for a bolster. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Actually, he marked himself. Let's go for a Hound's Rush. We have to make use of that mark, right? Look at that, crit 29. Yeah. I do have Hound's Rush on the doggy instead of the Blackjack because I feel like if you have a super aggressive doggy, 
uh, it's better to run Hound's Rush, and if you have a fully defensive dog, it's better to run the, the Blackjack. Uh, it's weird to explain, but if you have a doggy like this, you really can't be going Hound's Harry in the backline, so you have you still need to do some kind of offensive move, because guarding isn't really going to be that good. Yeah, you can't be going full aggressive if there's a pass, because, you know, you'll just die immediately. So that's not what we're that's not what we're into. So I just bring the Hound's Rush, and it's very good for bringing characters like from I don't know, like six HP down to down to zero immediately if they have like 195 stress or very close to it, just to make sure that they actually die and that the Hound's Harry doesn't keep them alive after a heart attack. I really do quite like uh, doing that. So let's see who are we gonna play against now, and it's a novice gamer. Oh well, I have the wrong banner. Maybe I should change the banner. That would give me better, better play RNG. It's so sad that I'm darkest one. I have to play with novices every now and then. But let's see what do they have here. They have. Well, this doesn't look too bad. They have Crusader Flagellant, and they have a very weird Hyman Man, but I suppose it makes sense. And they have kind of a weird Occultist, but eh, it also makes sense. Let's see how this goes. I do get to go first this time around, so I'm gonna go for. It's kind of a a weird choice as to who you want to go for here, but I'm gonna... Uh, who am I gonna slam? I'm gonna slam the Crusader, mostly because he doesn't have Holy Land, so he just feels kind of stupid in position 3, so I'm just gonna do that and keep on going. This is still a command buff turn, even though they don't have any sort of any sort of big amounts of dodge. You still have to command buff because your accuracy bases are garbage, and since you go first, you don't have any... Yeah, you have to deal with that extra 15 dodge, so not dropping a command buff here would be very silly because then I just miss my moves and yeah, obviously, that would be that would be terrible. So they're gonna go, oh, actually Abyssal Artillery, I would expect them to go for a pull here, which wouldn't really do too much for them, but they actually go Abyssal Artillery, which is smart. Keep in mind that without numbing incense, I'm gonna eat a lot of stress. I, I, also, I missed that occultist, by the way. I do get a crit, so not gonna complain too much. Yeah, 117 accuracy and I miss, unbelievable. But yeah, without numbing instance on this man arms, we're actually gonna eat a lot of stress. And here comes Rain of Stars, my backline's just gonna die, let's be honest. But it doesn't really matter as long as they survive for like three to four rounds, just to do enough enough stress output. That's kind of the the gist behind it. I'm actually getting all the bleeds on this Crusader. This is why you bring all the bleed chances. Crimson Hook is not failing me today. No curse of the spiked bat for me. This this Crusader is just feeling terrible. Ah, oh, you can drop in spike, right? Oh, that is annoying. That is annoying, but um, you can prevent the stress, but you can't prevent the collateral damage, and you can't prevent all the stress either. It's just have way too much. Well, here comes the beast smile, so uh, take that. No blight on that Iron Man. This Crusader is pretty much bleeding down to zero already. The Serpent Turf just feels amazing. That's something I haven't mentioned yet. It's the Serpent Turf between these characters. Is that these two do bleed and the Abomination does blight. So you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna be fully dependent on on just one sort of aggressive move. That's kind of uh, kind of the idea. So here we're gonna go for another Hound's Harry and come on, more stress, more bleeds, good, all the good stuff. Would, would hope for more crits. The Crimson Hook gives you a lot of a lot of crit chance on this Hound Master. It feels so good when you get those Hound's Harry crits. Especially like a double Hound's Harry crit. Oh my god, the stress. Ugh, talking about stress. Look at those freaking stress heals. Annoying, man. Absolutely annoying. I could drop a bolster here, but I'm just gonna go aggressive. I don't... I mean, they could miss. They could definitely miss. They don't have any accuracy buffs. This is a poorly built team, to be honest. But anyway, I'm just gonna drop the battle, just start doing stress here, get him closer to affliction. They're gonna pistol shot me. Wow, it actually hits. <laughs> actually, it's that surprising. I would not expect pistol shot to hit. Oh, hopefully I stay alive and don't die to the 20 to the 25. That would be terrible if I die to the 25 here. Because if that happens, I won't even ma make use of my last command buff on the doggy. I'm not gonna try and heal myself, that would just be stupid. Just go for your final command buff turn and go Hans Harry. So, yeah, I stay alive, that's good. Am I afflicted? Oh, I am. No, I'm afflicted to the horror. Oh, come on. Give me... Hopeless is fine. Oh, not masochistic. No, not masochistic. <laughs> no, not masochistic. Okay, that's fine. Just move forward. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. So at this point, the doggy has done his job. You know, even though he's gonna die now, he used all three of the command buffs. He dropped all the hand series. Even though the Reign of Stars and Abyssal Artillery kind of destroyed my backline, it's perfectly okay because my frontline is still perfectly intact and their team is just dying here. 
which it, which is great, obviously. It's wonderful for me. Yeah, it is. It is wonderful. Are they gonna go for more abyssal artillery? Yeah, my backline is just completely dead here. Just completely freaking gone. There, there they go. And do I want to click immediately? I'm gonna take enough stress, so probably not. Oh, but I. If I don't, I'll be at this storm after Rain of Sorrows. Yeah, let's let's click here and go for for another bellow. I could go command buff, but at this point, uh, I'm just gonna drop bellows. So I go fearful, but there's no pass. That's wonderful. A little bit extra strength because of the pit factor. So I'm on the other characters, but that's that's fine. Did I did I record the W? No, I didn't. Uh, one one W. I'm imagining this is gonna be a W as well because they don't even have like Gauntlet to have solution on the flash one, but uh, but yeah. Oh, I still have the second transformation, by the way, <laughs> so that's still coming. Yeah, that's still coming. It's gonna come in hot as well. Raptors, what are you gonna do? That's that's a punish on my flash. I do not mind that. I do not mind that at all. Okay, time to go for more Reign of Sorrows, right? At this point, going punish on the Highman might even be better, just to kind of spread out the damage. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go for a punish here. Kind of just to spread out the DOT a little bit and also get him closer to affliction. Like this, okay, because both of these characters are already dropping to zero. Dropping another Rain of Sorrows there wouldn't do too much. It will get them closer to uh, to heart attack, but yeah. They're actually gonna inspire and cry there. Well, there was no horror, so I really don't mind all that much. I'm gonna transform Rake, and they're still gonna be at zero HP, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be at zero HP. I did get a crit buff, so I do 6 to 12. Yeah, that's enough. That is enough. Oh, they had protection on there. That's why. That's why it was only six to eleven, or six to twelve. That's kind of insane. But now I'm, I get to just go D transform B spile, and they're so screwed. Yeah, they are so freaking screwed here. I might do zero damage. It's unlikely, but but I might do zero damage here. They still don't go vendetta, by the way. <laughs> They've had vendetta this entire match, and they don't do it. I don't understand why. I won't go for the immediate B spile. Though I'd rather just use my final man ramps action here. And just drop another bellow, get them, get that one afflicted, and get these uh, even more stressed out. That's what we want here. <sighs> afflicted, you say, Shep? Afflicted, you say? He goes courageous. It probably won't matter. He's just gonna die to <laughs> to just a normal hit from the beast well, most likely. But that is funny that we see a powerful highwayman. Powerful highwayman, huh? At least it isn't courageous. So I'm not gonna complain too much. I guess that's the inspiring cry working. Yeah. That's actually quite funny that they, that they do get it. Did they go for an early exagonate? I feel like that's a massive miss. Well, you shouldn't do that, but it's, it's alright. And watch the 25. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't get to death. Would have been so much fun. Just getting rid of that, uh, of that virtue character immediately would have been great. Basically, all the virtue would have dealt was like healing 5 stress on the other characters. <laughs> Nothing else. Oh, I really want to drop a Reign of Sorrows here. Oh, I want to drop it so bad. But if I do it, I might die. You know, that's kind of the problem. If I drop the Rain of Sorrows, I might die here. Uh, it's not a very good idea. But at the same time... Oh, let's do it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Let's do some stress. Yeah, the backline's just totally dead here. And then my Abomination can probably 1v2 this, even if this character dies and this character dies. I trust in the A-bomb. So powerful, no act out. Would have been, would have been good if they got an act out. <laughs> they miss. <laughs> they die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would have been good for them if they got an act out for like plus damage on the other characters, but yeah. Now it's over. Now it's over! Oh my god, that's insane. Okay, you're dead. So all we have to do here is just go for an exsanguinate, and yeah, that's just a surrender. So GG's to my opponent, and let's go for match number three. Alright, on this third match, we're playing against another novice somehow, so I'm just gonna skip on to the end. And so, after a prolonged brawl, we have reached the end, I kept all four characters alive, they just kind of afflicted my backline, tried killing the Abomination, but it didn't really work all too well. Even if they did, so the Flashpoint would still be there and could, you know, generally 1v3, so... That's just what happens. I kind of just disrupted the Hellion with a slam, and after that, even with a Plague Doctor in the backline, she might be able to kill me within three rounds with play with play grenade, but she just tried going blinding gas, and it really doesn't work as command buff kind of counters it. Even if you stress me out, I'm gonna stress you out way the hell faster. So that's what happened. Let's go on to the next match. Connecting to opponent, please be not an office. That would be that would be very nice. Let's see. Veteran, Champion, or Darkest? 
And, oh my god, okay, I'll skip this one ahead as well. Alright, and there we go, the match is... Ah, uh, it's... No, it is over, it is over, yeah. They cannot survive this. Do they take enough stress? Do they take 13 with monkey spore? Do they take 12? I can't remember, but I actually want to see it, so I'm just gonna pass here, <laughs> and I'm gonna wait for them to, uh, to to light out at that. Do they take 12 or do they take 13? No, it's actually 13 with the monkey's fall. Well, good stuff. That is gonna be GG's, and that is gonna be 4Ws for the champ's dress, though. I mean, it's against novices. Let's see if we can find some darkest opponents. We're playing against another novice, so I'm gonna skip ahead to the end. Actually, never mind. This team doesn't look too bad. This team looks like it could actually do something. I see some good trinkets on it, and it looks like a reasonably well-built team. It does have a Plague Doctor, but other than that, it looks like an actual okay team. So the Abomination is in position 1, so we kind of want to keep that a reality. So instead of that, I'm gonna just transform Slam the Man Arms. So even though my opponent may be novice, it looks like they know what they're doing, because I see some good trinket choices, so... This, uh, this should be a fun match. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to deal with my flashlight, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what they what they can manage here. So I'm probably still going to go command this round. Ouch. Yeah, I'm probably still going to go command this round, but I'm going to go for the bolster right, like, right by the start of next round after the beast pile. So we don't take too much stress, because when you're playing stress versus stress, you probably want to bolster, but if I don't go command here... Uh, I'm never gonna hit their characters with the Hansari, so that would just be terrible, obviously. So they dropped the command, I i mean, they dropped the bolster, I dropped the command. They're playing this well. They slammed my flagell and they went for a bolster against the stress team. Like, this is this is the good novice. I made a video once called the good novice, and it was like a novice that played like a darkest player. <laughs> this might be it. We might have a, a remake of, of that video here. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. So... Are you gonna go for a pull on me? No, it's gonna be weakening curse. Okay, there goes the there goes the wonder novice. Weakening curse really only does like 30 strengths for you here. It's not accomplishing too much. That's really not what you should be doing, because you know it might reduce my damage by like one point on the hounds area, but yeah, that's really not uh, that's really not your problem here. So here comes blinding gas instead of play grenade, which I also think is probably a mistake. Should I go for an immediate hunt area? Should I go for an immediate bolster? Uh, I'm gonna go for an immediate bolster actually. I'm not liking the amount of stress I'm taking, so I'm just gonna do that. I think that is the best play here. My only concern is that they just drop an immediate buying ass again, get the debuff again, even against all my debuff friends, and then I have like minus 20 accuracy, which would be kind of bad because then I wouldn't hit. But, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. Are they gonna slam me again? Please don't. Oh, that's annoying. Well, this isn't gonna work out for them, though. It is annoying, but it's not gonna work out for them, and I'll explain why. The reason it doesn't work out is because they're activating my healing on the flagellant, they're taking stress with their abomination turn, and they're really not gonna kill my flagellant. They don't have a follow-up. Like, they're gonna bring me closer to zero, sure, but I'm just gonna move forward. Eventually, I'm gonna heal. They're gonna stress themselves out like crazy, and they're gonna accomplish nothing by just slamming over and over again. So I don't really mind this as much as you as much as you might think. So here I just move forward, and then I just drop a beast pile, and it's perfectly okay. I mean, is it the correct play for them to just slam, 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 slam? Is it what they have to do here just to prevent Rain of Sorrows? I mean, I guess. <laughs> They don't really have too much else that's better in position 1 that they should do, so I get debuffed again. I mean, I have minus debuff friends now. That's kind of the problem with putting the Abomination in position 1. You don't have that beast file to, to drop, but yeah, I do have the beast file, so of course I'm gonna do it. I don't get a crit, which is sad, and I don't get a single blight, which is even sadder. The, yeah, they would have dropped both of these characters down to 0 HP after that happened, but I guess I'll just have to rely on the on the doggy here. He's got terrible accuracy right now, I probably want to drop a command buff immediately, I think. Yeah, thankfully the debuff only lasts two rounds, so it's it's okay. Here comes... Uh, I could drop Bellow. Uh, Bellow is... no, it's probably gonna miss. Let's just drop a command buff. Yeah, just keep dropping the command buffs, make sure that the doggy can actually hit and just melt this entire team. Absolutely melted, just destroyed. Usually playing against Plague Doctor Occultist on your stress teams is kind of bad because you can't really like you don't have puncture, you don't have come hither, so you're not really gonna disrupt them all that much. What you can do is you can drop Rain of Sorrows on them, but uh, not in this situation because they just keep slamming me. So I guess they are doing the correct play by slamming me. Like it's not gonna work out in the long run, that's for sure. 
but I, I guess there's nothing else for, better for them to do. So they have gotten all three of the debuffs so far, and because of that I get one miss. That's actually not too bad. Now some of them are going to go away, right? Maybe even two? No, just one. The next one's going to go away next round. And my command buffs will stay, because they last for an extra turn and they also give me accuracy, so that's, that's wonderful here. They're going to afflict me, I mean, they're going to make me have a heart attack here. Not yet. But uh, very, very soon. Well, once that happens, I can just drop a, a redeem, so it's not the end of the world. But now I have to drop this. 30% crit chance, by the way. No crits. <laughs> and no bleed on the men at arms either. With the crimson hook. Oh man, this novice RNG is. is it is unsettling, is what it is. We're gonna drop a bell here, that's gonna get me. out have heart attack, but after that, we're probably gonna slam me again, and then I'll just. And then I'll just redeem and he'll stay alive for a bit longer. So here we definitely transform again. Maybe dealing damage to this abomination is my best play at the moment. How many damage debuffs do I have? Ah, not too many. Let's go for it. Let's get a min roll. Make him make him feel a little bit uh, less healthy compared to compared to the other characters. And yeah, their entire team is just crumbling here, because even though they've been focusing my doggy over and over and over again, it's not gonna matter in the long run because he's gonna stay alive, right? So it would have been nice if they dropped me to that store here, but since they didn't, I'll still go for the redeem, it's okay. Yeah, it would have been nice because then I would have been able to heal, to heal the doggy for a bit more, would have been able to kind of heal the other characters, but yeah, I guess it doesn't matter all that much. Would have healed him for a bit more, but he's probably not going to die to damage, he's going to die to just having a heart attack here. But he has minus 15% stress taken at the moment, so I am doubtful that... Uh, Weakening Curse actually does enough, with minus 30% stress taken. I mean, probably does, because they have Carnival Mask. Ah, it does. God damn it. Okay. Well, with that, um, I could guard, just to keep him alive for longer. Or I could go for the final Hounds area. I could just heal myself, honestly. Yeah, let's just heal myself. Uh, it's gonna... it's gonna... Keep the heart attack recovery, I'm gonna have regen. This is a very rare situation where you're gonna see me healing myself with the doggy. I usually don't do that, I usually just go for the final Harry. If I didn't have the accuracy debuffs there, I might have gone for the final Harry. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna live with this at the moment. Oh, they don't have play grenade, that's so weird, you should always have play grenade. So they're gonna do a grand total of, oh, actually 17 strengths on the flagel, that's more than I imagined. And right now you are getting very close, you are gonna go afflicted actually. So, what do I want to do here? I could detransform stun one of them. Yeah, let's do that. Let's detransform stun and then the bell is going to do more stress. That's kind of the idea behind it. So, let's stun this uh, cultist and then the bell is going to do way more stress to him than all three characters are just going to die. I could also go for another command buff, but honestly, at this point, uh, I don't think they're going to apply more debuffs before I, I get to go my uh, get to go with my Harry. So, are they gonna drop more bellows? They should be doing laughable amounts of stress right now, like... Yeah, just 8, that's nothing. Of course, I, I give a little bit extra on top, and uh, yeah, a huge amount extra on top, but I'm still alive, so it doesn't matter. And I actually missed the bellow. Yeah, I suppose you were eating debuffs as well. So I missed the bellow on the same abomination. It won't matter because... Oh no, it does matter! He was gonna go afflicted on his own. I guess I would have detransformed him, which would have been worse for me, because then he could transform again immediately. So if you don't look at it, that's why I didn't share. But now he's gonna go for a stun, and knowing his luck, he's gonna get it. <laughs> Sorry, he's gonna get the stun on my Houndmaster. Or the Abomination, even though it's a 75. And let's see it. Is it gonna be... yes, of course. Of course. Well, my entire team is just... Um, paralyzed at this point, because days, days. I only have the Man arms and you're stunned. So I kind of just have to do the waiting move, because I don't want to use up my regen immediately. Uh, Blinding Gas does not do any points of damage, so I will stay alive, even if they even if they want to get away with that. Here comes another battle though. Shouldn't do enough stress, unless they... Actually, do I want it to do enough stress? I actually do. Come on, someone have an act out. And of course, no act outs. Now I have to click, and I will probably die soon. But they don't—they no longer have weakening curse, so it doesn't matter. I mean, most of this doesn't matter. I will just move forward to position one of the flash. The abomination is still fine. Like these two characters could die at this point, and I'd still live, and uh, I'd still win. But oh well. The, my team is just stronger than their team, especially in this matchup. There's really nothing too much. Uh, there's really not too much they can do. So I'm just gonna skip to the end. So, I just went for a, an absolution. I actually got a crit absolution in this match that is completely decided. <laughs> Thank you, Rational. And with that crit absolution, that basically means I'm not going to get one for the rest of the week. 
So thank you very much, A B A B A B, <laughs> for wasting my absolution RNG. And at this point, the man at arms can't deal with my flash on, so there's that. Alright, and on to match number five we go, or number six, no, number six. Alright, and there we go, finally a darkest opponent. I feel like I've played against him before, it's how something, right? It looks like a Chinese name. No, what was their name? No, just how this time around. Interesting. Oh, this is okay. This is a pretty cool team. This is called the Iron Dog team. So it should be a pretty fun match, but it's played quite weirdly today. It's, it's a very, very defensive Iron Dog team. We have Sufferer Claim, full on Stress Hill Crusader and defense, and we have Holster Man at Arms with Rancid Gear all numbing incense, and then the very tanky doggy. I like it, man. I like seeing teams like this. Okay. Let's try and deal with it. Let's try breaking through. This is going to be the plan. I'm the aggressor, they're the defender, and if I don't win in six rounds, I will lose, essentially. Uh, maybe not six rounds, but kind of. Kind of like around uh, around that, uh, that that time period. So they're going to start off with immediate hunts here <laughs> without a command buff, and they just get a crit on it. Wow. Okay, I see how it is. Well, I'm going to drop a command buff myself. They might be doing that because they're aware they can't sustain against Shep Stress. Uh, that's probably the reason. Without uh, With only one Stress heal, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to do that. They're going to drop a Reclaim on the Crusader immediately so he doesn't start dropping down. That's interesting. That's interesting, actually. Now, there isn't really too much they can do without Flash Mode, let's be honest. But we're going to start dropping these and slowly going to start outputting Stress. Hopefully less slowly, hopefully with a few more crits. And are they going to start clearing the horror? That would be smart if they do that, that's what I would do, just clear the horror on like the doggy. Or on themselves, but I would clear it on the doggy because he's the one that actually takes the most amount of stress here. And he's the most important character as well, so that is uh, that is what I would do here. But here comes the hounds there, you can't resist the bleeds on the doggy at least. So I'm going to be able to do that, they're probably going to drop another claim. At this point you shouldn't really drop Suffer because then I'll just bleed you again and you kind of just go nowhere and you just take damage. Or they just drop a defender which is uh, which does make sense here. So if they do that I'll just de-transform Beast Smile, make sure their Harry gets at least punished a little bit. Probably won't be punished too much because I'm gonna fail the blight. But you know it might it might get punished somehow. So I'm, I am gonna drop a bolster even though it's not offense. Mostly because I want to kind of prolong the window I have, because when once I start getting afflicted like on these three characters, it's over. But before that happens, hopefully I can stay alive. So they do drop a suffer because there was like 90 of these on there, and now they should start resisting them. So it does, uh, it does make sense that they actually do that. Do I want to drop a bellow? Hmm. No, let's drop a bolster. There's really no reason not to. Let's just uh, drop a bolster here and keep going. Yeah, I think this is I think this is fine. After this, we have more hounds areas with command buffs. Maybe we should just command, 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 and just get like plus sixteen percent crit chance, and then just crit out towards zoo or something like that. Oh, they might get virtues, by the way. <laughs> oh, I really hope they don't get virtues. Not gonna lie. Okay, no crits. How much stress are we doing? So let's see. We did minus two. I, I didn't see the other values, but basically not a lot, you know, we're not doing a lot of stress, even with all the stress trinkets. Yeah, we are we are not going to be able to, to do a lot of stress here, we don't have any sustain either, practically just a flash wand. But, you know, we, we can keep going aggressive, we have to keep going aggressive, this is literally our only option, just full on offense and punish them if they make any sort of mistake by just taking their characters out. They're also taking a lot of the UT on the Mandarin Arms now, so oh that's unlucky. That's what Rancid Cure all. That is unlucky that they're taking the UT there. I must have caught them with the Reign of Sorrows. Yeah that's brutal. Yeah that is that is quite brutal, not gonna lie. Now do I still have a command buff? Yes, but I wanna drop a bellow first. Just to make them have a little less damage on that hunt area. This is uh, this is perfectly okay here. Or maybe I should just command. Just command, command, command. I don't know. It's it's rough, man. It's rough. I don't know what I want to do. I like Bella because it's doing stress as well, and they have to clear stress on on you know three characters. So they only have uh, they only have to crusader to do it. So the more stress I do, the, the worse it gets for them. But yeah, we're just gonna keep going aggressive here. Nice crit, nice crit. But we failed to bleed actually. With a crit, that is very unfortunate. They got a 10% bleed res right there on the man at arms. Because with the crit it's 165% bleed chance. You know what I can do right now? They are they are playing this uh, quite uh, quite risky. I can punish this flagellant 
and then just go for a, for a rake and get a 5% death blow if I get lucky. Do I get to go first? No, I don't. Uh, I do not get to go first. Who am I hitting with this? I'm hitting Crusader Man at Arms. Uh, do I want to do it or do I want to go punish? Thing is, if I don't get the 5%, it doesn't really match all that much. Let's just go Ring of Sorrows. Yeah, I could have done it, but honestly, for a 5%, nah, just screw it. Yeah, just screw it. Let's just do this instead. Let us just do this. And here goes another Hansari into the repulse, so that's good news for me. And uh, now we're gonna now we're gonna transform, probably go for a rage on the man at arms as well. They're, they're, they're gonna heal, so that's not gonna accomplish too much, let's be honest. But the horror is good. The horror is really what we want here. So what do we wanna do? We definitely don't wanna move forward, that's that's for sure. If I drop a rage here, they're just gonna heal, but I mean if I had hit for a lot. If I had hit for a lot after they healed, they would still be kind of low on HP, so that would have been great, but yeah, not anymore. I'm surprised they don't go for the immediate Harry. I, I would have. I would have gone for the immediate Harry, because now I'm just going to be smiling and then they're going to have to eat another repulse, and that doggy might go afflicted sometime soon. Yeah, that's that's not good news for them, obviously. Their doggy going afflicted. Of course, my characters are also getting close, but they're not there yet. They're not there yet. So, two transformations. We have horror applied on that dog. He might go afflicted. He might go virtuous as well. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not sure what's gonna what's gonna happen here. If the doggy goes virtuous, if he goes like focused, it's over because he gets 10 accuracy and 8% uh, crit. So it's just just GG. But uh, if that doesn't happen, if he goes courageous, it's probably even worse. Even even with how cool focus is. But yeah, hopefully that's not what happens here. Oh, they dropped the guard. You dropped the guard. Well, I'm gonna drop a command buff or else I'm just gonna miss everyone. And if they drop the guard, I can hit them directly with Harry and Reign of Stars. And they're dropping down to zero immediately, so that means they have to click the flash on or, you know, or they die. Or they get a death sword recovery. Debuff. What? What are they doing, man? <laughs> this is the darkest opponent. They're playing this so weird. What? What are they doing? If you lose one character, you lose. This is an immortal team. You can't play like this. This is, this is not how it should be. You should, I mean, I guess they're taking massive risks because they know that they can't sustain against Shep's stress. That's kind of the thing. It might look like weird play, but they know that if, oh, they know, oh, come on, I only had one Bellow Demon on me. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, they know that if this goes to like round 10, the other guys are just going to bleed down. The flagellant isn't enough to sustain all of them. So that's probably what they're doing. They're just going full on aggression. Hope that it works. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's rough when you have to play a team like this because they're ready to deal with the damage. You know, they're ready. They have reclaim suffer. They have uh, they have some resistance here. They have guards. They have they have protection on the hound master after he gets pulled. So if you guard, he has 50 prot. And they also had big heals here to crusader. They were kind of hoping that inspiring cry would be enough, and it technically would against most uh, stress teams, but not not against this. This is just too much. The, the ship strength is just way too strong in in terms of uh, in terms of offense. You really cannot sustain against it. It's very very difficult to sustain against it. You need to like to have a big repulse. It makes me freaking hurt if you if you want to sustain against it. I could go for a five percent here, but once again, if I kill the dog, yeah, I win. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get him closer to uh, to the heart attack and just take it from there. Wow, sixteen bleed on the crusader. The crimson hooks, man. The crimson hooks are helping so much. That's that's actually unreasonable how much uh, how much bleed is coming through and yeah they just surrender because it's over at this point so that's six w's for the uh for the ship stress and finally a good match you know finally a good freaking match and would you look at that we're playing against another darkest opponent so this time it's this guy 4427 no freaking idea who this is never played against them but hopefully they can Wow, okay, this is gonna be the Chef Stress number 5, right? So it's Chef Stress but with the Arbalest, but quite an interesting setup on it, not gonna lie. Uh, they have Suppressing Fire, so if they apply the debuffs on me, I'm screwed. But if they don't apply the debuffs on me, I should be able to win this. Uh, the problem is that that gives you plus stress, uh, minus stress dealt on the character that gets debuffed, so if they apply like two of those on my Hound Master, I'm basically doing zero stress and then it's just horrible. They're gonna, no, they're gonna transform, okay. Who do they want to push? It would be very smart for them to actually push the, to actually push the Man of Arms here, that's probably what I would do, because, yeah, well, for starters, <laughs> there's a miss chance on there, there's a fail chance on there, and if you were to push the, the Man at Arms, you would prevent me from going slam myself, I would have to, like, rage or something, because if I went slam, I would be unable to I'll drop a beast file after it, which obviously I don't want, but I am gonna go for the slam on the flash here. You have to be kind of nuts 
to go for a slam on the abomination because I mean the, the chance isn't very good. You're better off just slamming the flash ones, especially if he has Rain of Sorrows. Rain of Sorrows is kind of just the destroyer of Hound Masters if they don't have any dodge. So I obviously don't want that to happen, right? So I could go bolster here. Uh, but I don't imagine myself dodging too much immediately, so I'm just gonna go for the command and make sure that I actually hit with my with my Harry and Rain of Sorrows. This is gonna be a rough one. I'm really scared of this Devos. I'm really scared of these Devos. Because if they get it, like, it's a 55% chance. If they get it, I'm just screwed, you know? It's just over. But, okay, they do not get the first one. Yeah, it's plus stress taken as well. Like, it's horrible. Those Devos getting hit by them is just freaking horrible. You saw them wiggling their mouth, uh, their mouths, but... They have two protection trinkets on the Arables, like, come on, <laughs> you gotta bring the Weight Balls or the Eerie if you wanna get the reliable Divas on the doggy. I really hope they don't get too many of them, you know, I really hope so. So I'm gonna go for Pounce Airy, I mean, I'm gonna go Reign of Stars here, I'm trying to bleed these characters out, make them go Afflicted as well. I could go Punish on the Abomination, that's definitely a play as well, but I, I'd rather just take out this backline then, focus on these two characters later down, uh, later down the match. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna detransform Bile, but they're gonna do it first. So, you know, I'm just gonna lose my. I'm just gonna have to pile into the. Bile into it. Or they go slam. That's insane. I would not do that. I would not do that. I have Hounds Airy. This is, this is genuinely bad play. I would never. I would never do that. I think they're playing this morally. Because now they allow me to get Beast File without having to get Beast File myself. They allow me to get Hounds Airy without having to, to hit into the past. Like, if you go first, take advantage of it, you know? If you go for a second match of it, I know Reign of Sorrows hurts, but this is uh, this is not how you should be playing, in my opinion. So they go Defender so they don't get bled, which, I mean, makes sense. I could go Hound Seri before I get debuffed, or I could go Bolster just so I don't take so much stress. I'm gonna go Bolster so I don't take so much stress. I might also dodge that Reign of Sorrows because they went for... Oh, they went for a guard, so they might not, not have enough accuracy. If you compare these matches to, like, the previous ones, like, yeah, sure, this one's, uh, this one's a lot more stressful, but it's... You know, it's so so much cooler to play this match. Please don't. Oh, that's so good. I actually feel like I'm having fun, you know. I'm, I'm, I play the Butcher Circus for it to be challenging, not for it to, to be easy. I don't like going into a match and be like, oh, I have a, su I have a superbly winning matchup, I'm just going to win this match. I usually don't uh, don't like I usually don't like that. I don't feel like there's any challenge in it. And if there's no challenge in it, it's not fun. That's kind of how it goes. So they're going to go Reign of Stars, but once again, no accuracy. My characters aren't low on HP yet, so... Uh, hopefully miss. There, there's your miss, Shepard Dog. Yeah, you've been very lucky so far, not getting those debuffs. Okay, 24 stress by the way with Bolser. Unbelievable. No, no crimson hook. Just from the, uh, just from the the debuff there being applied. Yeah, much bigger chance of being applied onto the men arms because uh, obviously he only has 10% debuff resistance. So. Yeah, this uh, this suppressing fire is kind of uh, demolishing him here. Would it be nice if I had Nomi Gensens in this matchup, but you know, since I don't, it's whatever. Do I get slammed for enough HP? No, I don't, but I have to be careful here. I do have to be careful. If I just move forward into position 1, I should live. I should live, but, I'm, but I might get 25 death load if they go punish and then just try to rake me. Like, I don't, I don't want that to happen, obviously. I do not want that to happen, so instead I'm just gonna go for maybe the immediate Harry. Maybe the immediate Harry is the play here, just do stress. Uh, while I'm not debuffed, yeah, let's do it. Let's just do stress here. Nice crit, finally a crit from the Hounds Harry. Very decent amounts of stress being dealt. Not a, not a lot though, it's like, it's good, but it's not great. Like, there's numbing incense, there's medics full plate, there's gauntlet, and bolster of course, so difficult to to do stress through this, but, you know, the DOT is coming, the DOT is coming, these characters are bleeding like crazy, of course, my, my backline is also going to bleed, wow, really, punish on the men arms, you want to take him out, I don't feel like he's that valuable, well, in that case, I'm definitely going to move to position 1 before I get uh, suppressing fire down to 0, because I don't want to have to drop a redeem right here, I'd rather drop an exanginator or whatever, and uh, I'm probably going to drop another command buff, yeah, they still have a lot of dodge, I don't want to miss, I do not want to miss, plus I might miss the exsanguinate, so I, yeah, I'm probably going to do that. Oh no, I have to click here and go flick, that, oh, that sucks. Okay, men at arms, please be nice. Oh, that's irrational, no, that's the worst. Oh no, oh no, okay, that's a, that's a self hit, that's fine. Uh, for now, for now, that's fine. Yeah, here comes the, the command buffs, because we want that accuracy, right? And I'm probably going to transform rage, this abomination, even though that might be countered by redeem. At the same time, I'm still gonna get pressure out of it, so I think it would be it would be okay if I do that. 
So they're gonna heal preemptive heals already. That's very good. If they're if they're starting to preemptive heal, it's very very good for you because they're not dropping suppressing fire. So I'm loving it, man. 12 to 23. Yes, that's what we want to see. Finally, rage crit. First time in. I don't know, like, this year? <laughs> Maybe my first rage crit this year. It's so good when it happens. It just so hurts so much. Usually doesn't happen, though. Oh, no, please don't click. Please don't click. That's going to heal so much stress. No, they saved themselves from taking, like, 30 extra stress. God damn it. It's fine, though. It's fine. I don't they wouldn't have... They would have taken it anyway if it weren't for the crit rage. Selfish pass. Give me a pass. No, just some stress. That's that's okay. Are they going to go for the crit absolution? No, no crit absolution. Well, that's good for me then. It is quite good for me. I'm just gonna do transform and beast file here. Uh, nothing, no reason not to, honestly. And this, this is just a byproduct of them just trying to slam my men at arms, my group, my flash one too much. If they hadn't do that, they'd be perfectly fine here. But since they've been trying to slam me, they're kind of losing the abomination war, which they really shouldn't. If you go first, you should not lose the abomination war like ever. They even tried going punish on my. No, they went punish on the men at arms, not the abom. So yeah, it's kind of weird that they did that. I, I don't know why they did punish on the man at arms. That's so weird. Sure, he's taking down to zero, but like, I don't care. And here goes another preemptive heal. Oh, that is so good that they're having to preemptive heal here. I still have command buffs, so uh, should I go for it first? Mm, I should probably wait a bit. I should go for the for the battle first. You know what would be insane here? Irrational hit the flash on and stun him. No! No! I did not call it. Oh my god, he doesn't get stunned. Oh, but he might die now. Oh my god, okay. Okay, this is how this is how the turntables. Oh my god. Oh they have they have finished on their plans. What I'm gonna die? Oh you idiot man at arms! I cannot believe it. No, if they kill me here, I'm if they kill the flashman here, it's over. I can't kill their flashman back. Oh my god, I live! Oh okay, they get a crit on it, but I live somehow. Oh my god, okay. That is that is unreal. You remember when I was saying I like these stressful matches? I'm, I'm not liking it anymore, man. I'm not liking it anymore. I don't want to lose. I have a six game win streak. I don't want to lose it, dude. But yeah, the Arvels is going to go afflicted now. That's very good. You know, they're still taking the OT. I'm sure they're, they're kind of alive for a while now, but uh, I'm just going to stress them out here. I'm just going to win stress wise. So yeah, they're gonna go for the battle. They miss. <laughs> they miss my flash one. I don't even have less red color. Oh, there's the affliction. Perfect act out. Good job. They go masochistic. Oh no, it could move forward. That could be bad here. That could be bad. And I do have to drop the exagonate, or else you know I'm just. Do I have to drop the exagonate? Not really. You know what? I'm gonna drop a redeem here on the MAA. Just keep him alive for longer. I guess that punish has made me drop the redeem here. I'm okay with this, honestly. Like you're you're pretty much bleeding down to zero after another hound series, so uh, this is uh, this is good. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like I have to exang on it here. I also don't want to go exang on the flat ones. I I don't feel like focusing on me. No, they, they, oh, they okay. They're gonna slam me though. Or are they gonna rage? Uh, they're gonna slam. They're gonna slam. Yeah, I can't believe they moved back with that. And there goes the crit. Oh god. Okay. This is not lovely. This is the opposite of lovely. So what should I do immediately? Should I... Bell immediately shirk? I can't believe irrational. Like, I called it, you know? I called ir... Oh, that's good, actually. That's good. Good job. Uh, I called irrational going for the, <laughs> the freaking... The freaking hit on the flagellant, like... Oh, that's unbelievable. That, that's gotta be clipped. That's gotta be clipped. That's That was insane. Yeah. God damn. What, what were the chances of that? Chance of you hitting another character is like 5% and then you have like 3 characters to pick from as well. It's unbelievable. So I'm taking extra strength here on the flash but it should honestly be okay. I, I still very much doubt I'll go afflicted because of all the slams they've been doing on me right, they've been healing my strength. So here comes Hans Harry, even more strength being dealt to their side. I'm eventually gonna get this guy afflicted because Harry still does a bit of strength even against Gauntlet. Is that a... no it's just a mark. Oh, I should have waited. I could go hunt rush on that. Nah, just kidding. Let's go Harry here. They have they have 40 prot and they're they're debuffing me like it's not gonna work. Just drop the Harrys. And give me abusive. That's minus five accuracy, and you know, there goes all the dodge as well. So that's definitely not perfect. Let's be honest, definitely not perfect. I'm gonna click here and just go beast file. I think that's uh, that's what I should do. 
because my flash one is still in a very in a very rough spot, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm still in a very rough spot. I could have moved forward, but then I would die because of the punish. Yeah, this finisher here is insane. Having this finisher here under flash one is definitely a good move. Like it's just it's just so scary. But it didn't work, you know, it didn't work. Yeah, they're gonna be rid of Soros. I'm I'm kinda of screwed here. I have to go for another redeem. Ah, oh, there goes my second redeem. Maybe I get a crit heal like they did. That would be wonderful. I can't move forward and just be risky because, you know, I just die. So, yeah, let's not do that. So let's just do this instead. And after this, I might have to... Bile, move back twice, and then exagonate? I don't know. It's it's rough. It is rough. They're doing a lot of DOT to my flash one here. It's sad. Yeah, and the slams. They're hurting me, man. They're hurting me. Hmm. Okay. Here comes the Arbalist. What is she gonna do? More suppressing fires. Does she finally apply a debuff is the question. Oh, she did! She finally applied it! Uh, well, I'm, I'm still gonna go for the Hound's area here. You're gonna see that now it does practically zero stress. Oh no, you go. You make him go flicked. It's abusive though, that's good. That's good. That means the repulse might actually, might actually hurt a bit. So let's see, yeah, now I'm doing practically no stress, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, the crits can help, but uh, practically no stress anyway. Yeah, oh well. Now uh, the flash one's gonna go afflicted, so that's good. He's also taking a lot of DOT. He's only used one of his heals, and I've already used two of mine. I really need to move back here. Yeah, it's sad, but it's what I gotta do. If I do that, they might... Uh, if they try slamming me, they're gonna die, though. If, if their plan here is to slam me, they, they will definitely die shortly after, so I have to... Maybe drop a beast smile first, or do I wait? Uh, let's let's wait. Let's just move. Uh, let's just move back. Oh, but I misplayed. I I can't drop beast smile after that. No, I didn't think. I didn't think, Shepard. Think. Oh god. Okay. What do I want to do here? If I do this, he might die. But I don't want to gamble. <laughs> I don't want to gamble. I have this thunder flash one now because of because of my gambling. Oh, this is terrible. My faithful hound, my sweet princess, stare at their flesh, they may be adorned in bloody finery. That's, that's a really cool uh, cool quote. It's too big, though. Uh, it is too big, way too big. So, adversity, yeah, I've, I've heard that one already today. And, yeah, this is rough, because if they know what they're doing, they can kill my flash one here. For sure, because they get to, they get to go first, right? That's horrible. really hate uh, that my opponent gets to go first. I could move back with the Abomination. That's an idea. I could move back with the abomination, that might work. Yeah. Probably what I'm gonna do. Ooh, nice pass. I Means they don't take stress, but still nice pass. And do I just move back here? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just move back. Just move back. Just keep it simple. If they wanna punish me, so be it. If they don't want if they don't wanna punish me, I'll punish their A1. And then they're just gonna die, so. I could also go Ring of Swords, but at this point you just punish the A1 to make sure you don't get slammed because I all I have is exagonates for healing now, so. I don't want bad stuff to happen. I feel like they should... No, they're gonna go redeem with minus healing skills. Oh, they say no. So they're gonna go for the for the abomination instead. He might still die, though, to a punish. Yeah, this might be even worse now. This might be even worse. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. I'm low on HP. Come on, give me the crit. I want a crit 10. No, mineral. <laughs> That's the best you can get, Chef. They have to heal though, or else they die, because of the horror dropping to the store and the stress from the abomination. No, you're dead! You're dead! You don't calculate it right! You are dead, man! And you do extra stress to the other characters. Yep, that's that's your men at arms. I mean that's your abomination gone and now it's over. Do I wanna go for more command buffs? I mean there's two zero dodge characters, probably not, right? I wanna go for I wanna go for Beast Mile. Abusive, don't move forward. Thank you. And let's drop the beast smile here, even though I, I didn't imagine I would do enough damage to the mana arms anyway. This is just winning from now on because my characters are just way more uh, way more healthy than my opponent's characters. And even though the flagellant may be stronger, quote unquote, with that finisher, this uh, this isn't gonna gonna work out too well for them. And that's that's great. That is that is very great for me. That uh Arbles is also dead to like another ring of sorrows, so that's that's wonderful. What does she want to do, though? I could I could guard here. Yeah, I could guard if I want to. Oh, she's going to preemptive heal. Of course. I But I also have to drop a command buff. But I could guard. It's kind of the thing. If I guard, I might stay alive for longer, but then I'll just get punished and then brought down to zero regardless. Uh... 
You know what? I'm gonna guard here. It's weird, but I'm gonna do it. I wanna stay at this store to get plus 5 accuracy and plus damage. And also my plus crits received. Also, I don't wanna go for the heal just yet, because I have minus healing skills. Oh, the move forward! Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Masochistic. I called it again, by the way. I called Masochistic moving forward would be terrible for my opponent, and indeed it is. I'm gonna go for the... For the Reign of Sorrows first, because I don't really need it. Um, I don't really need it on the Man at Arms. I would prefer it on the Flagel at this, at this point. Yeah, look at that stress. Ah, it's like 8 stress on that. <laughs> 8 stress on that. Yeah, it's not uh, It's not really doing too much, but uh, you know, the, the bleed's definitely helpful. Uh, that's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit, alright. Oh, the, Har the Harry's gonna kill you now. Maybe, maybe the Harry's gonna kill you. Oh, they have to drop another redeem with minus healing skills. Whoa! Crit 34. Okay, dude, I see how it is. Okay, that's definitely gonna help them, but but not for very long, because I'm still gonna I'm still gonna take them out the good old fashioned way with the heart attacks. Or am I? Or am I? <laughs> I'm doing four stress because of No, they don't even have heart attack recovery. How am I doing four stress? That's atrocious. How? How do I do four? Wow. Okay. Oh, they weren't bleeding, that's why it said 4. Yeah, but it, it was a bit more than 4. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is rough. This is rough, rough, rough. What do I want to do here? So I can't heal him anymore, I no longer have redeems. I could go for a bell before I do anything else. Or I could go for a command or whatever. Let's go, I could go Harry. Oh, I could go Reign of Sorrows. I could go Reign of Sorrows first, I might kill her. If I, if I get a good damage roll on it, or, you know, if, if I get the bleed and some nice stress. Ah, uh, of course I missed the 80. I suppose she is selfish, so it makes sense. Uh, you're not dropping down to zero, but you will very soon after I bile. That's so annoying, though. That's so annoying. Okay. Stress, that's good. And she's gonna go suppressing fire into the repulse. Come on, crit, abusive! No, it's doing zero. Yeah, the little divas are too much. And she has 40 prods, so... Yeah, oh, I could rush here. I could Hound's Rush. Is that the play? Dropping a Hound's Rush? He's gonna move forward, so I probably want to pile here. Just to make them hurt, you know? Just to make them stressed out physically like IRL. Oh, okay. Ouch. Ouch, man. You know what would be horrible? If that killed, the guard would have gone away, and then the flagellant moved forward, punished my flagellant. I would lose. I would lose the match. Unbe unbelievably, I would lose the match. Unless I got a death on them, then I, would, then I would win. So yeah, right now I can kill them with Hunt's Rush. Oh! Oh. What? He, he act out moved forward. Not moved forward and then had his action. He act out moved forward. Okay. I see. That's, that's interesting. I think the play here might be to bellow into Harry. Oh my god. Am I dead? Oh, please, man arms, do not die. No? Oh, self-mark. <laughs> That's so funny. He actually self-marks. Okay. Okay, sadly I missed the Arbalist again, but... Uh... Mm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. The Lick Wounds here might be smart. I might lose this. If I require counsel, I will confer with my dog. With my doggy. I might lose here. And this would do damage, but uh, it's kind of risky. Everything's risky, Shep. I'm gonna Harry. Oh, I miss her again. <laughs> Can you please stop missing, miss? It's it's quite bad. I'm not liking it at all. Oh, I might die to suppressing fire again, but 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 if she's suppressing fire, she dies though, to to the repulse. So it's not too smart if she does that. Hmm. <laughs> what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? This is an epic match. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay, that's a self hit. I know that one. Oh, he lives though. He lives. He's gonna go for the Velo. Okay, that means my Man at Arms is gone. I have to go for my. Oh, oh no, Houndmaster! No, no, Houndmaster! He's gone. He's gone. Okay, no more Houndmaster. Rapturous, no act out, thank you. 90! No! Oh, I missed it! I missed the 90! Oh my god, I missed the 90! I should have gone for the corpse! Why didn't I drop the command buff? They don't have an act out. You're gonna go exactly. Ah! 
Oh my god! Oh my god, can I win this? They only have one Xang, maybe I can win. Please don't stress- No! I stress myself out. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Just do this. Oh, I got a crit there somewhere. Who was it on? Okay, got you. You're down to zero again. It's not over. It's not over, man. Oh, I can't believe I got... Why did I have to get the extra stress on there? No, Selfish is gonna heal! No! Selfish is OP, it's gonna heal! That corpse is going away, though. If that corpse goes away, I can only hit her. He can still hit me. I wanna drop Absolution here. Have I had a heart attack yet? Yes, I have. Let's, let's drop Absolution. I'm gonna take no stress now. Oh boy. Oh boy, my boy. Selfish pass. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he goes for the correct action. I cannot believe it. Mistakes were made, man. Mistakes were made. Oh my god, I missed the 90. Oh my god. I need Raptures to self hit. He got finisher. I need it. He's gonna extend the corpse. He's extending my flats once again. No! Critical 30! No! Where is the justice? Where is the justice? No it's gone. There is no justice. Okay, the Bell Diva is gone now, though. Okay, is there a chance? I cannot believe I'm gonna lose this. Oh, this is a very epic match to to end the how uh, to end the the streak with. Oh my god, I did get the I did get the blight. Ah, <sighs> let's see. What is she gonna do? No actors, by the way. She's thinking. Yeah, she's thinking. And self heal. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough to deal with. I have abusive though. I have plus damage. Like it might, it might work. Okay. That's that doesn't really do too much. And oh, it's only three. It's it's not enough. I can't believe my platform died with three hexagonites left. Oh, and my doggy. Oh, this is horrible. This should not be happening. I'm gonna drop more vials here. There's no point healing at this point. I need to I need to take her out. Oh, I can't believe this stupid armless is still alive. Yeah, it's over at this point. They just have punish and uh, Oh oh okay, she's kinda dead now, she passes, but I'm I'm dead myself. Or or maybe maybe I can live. If Rapturous does like a self hit and then I stun and then selfish pass and then Oh no, she's gonna heal herself again. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is over. Uh, I'm dead to a punish, you know. I don't want to die to a punish, so I'm gonna go for the crit absolution. Oh, it doesn't work. It does not work. The crit absolution does not save me. Okay, hit her. Hit her, please. No, just no act out. Yeah, it's it's over at this point. Oh, it's so over with a crit punish. Feel my resolve. No, flee from the holy berry if you fiends. Yeah, good one. Good one. Well, GG's this guy. This was this was epic. Yeah, I cannot win anymore, obviously, but ah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Can I win still? If he if he self hits and you die from him self hitting or whatever, uh, he can't self hit if he's stunned. Uh, but he's dropping down to zero, and then he self hits, then he stresses you out. I survived the death one, then I can perma stun you. Come on, come on, come on. No, three stress. How useless! And now it's over. Well, I tried to, I tried to deliver there. I made like two misplays, and that's really, really through the match. But big GG's to my opponent. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Hope you all stayed around to the end because this was definitely the most exciting match. And I'll see you again another time. Cheers.